Who's ready to bust some FUD? <laughs> I came across this tweet from Charlie Shrem a few days ago. And uh, Charlie Shrem, he is uh, an early Bitcoin pioneer. And uh, he was one of the co-founders of BitInstant, one of the earliest, maybe the earliest, I can't remember if it was the first one, but is uh, one of the earliest <coughs> uh, Bitcoin exchanges back in 2011. And uh, it's now defunct. And uh, really what he's better known as at this point is Bitcoin's first felon. <laughs> this piece by the New York Times. Uh, Bitcoin's first felon faces more legal trouble. So uh, Charlie pleaded guilty to uh, helping people buy drugs online, and he's currently being sued by the Winklevoss twins. In addition to that, he is co-founder of CryptoIQ, which put out this heaping pile of garbage a few days ago, titled Highly Centralized Ripple XRP, a Contagion, Not a Cryptocurrency. And I'm not going to read through this, this whole article. It's on the screen, so if you guys want to Google it, look it up yourselves, feel free to. But uh, I don't, I'm also not a big fan of when YouTubers just straight out read articles. But there are a lot of points in here, and the, 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 the FUD pieces that um, I see over and over and over again in social media, in particular on Twitter. And so I thought I'd just call a few of them out. And uh, funny enough, you know what this made me think of, too, was uh, this website, because <laughs> this answers a lot of them. Uh, XRP FUD Bingo, FUDBingo.com, created by Wheats and Wind, who is the uh, creator of the XRP tip bot. And uh, this website's hilarious to me because you can just be hanging out on Twitter and somebody says XRP is not a real cryptocurrency, and then rather than retyping the same correction over and over and over again, if you want to engage in such fashion, you can just click on this and uh, post the link and tweet it on that, and then the work's done. So it's a lot easier. So I think that's hilarious on its own. <laughs> it's also very useful. But, uh, yeah, one of the first points that they, they made in this uh, crypto IQ piece is that XRP is not a real cryptocurrency. So let's check out what FUD Bingo has to say about that. A blockchain is a continuously growing list of records called blocks, which are linked and secured using cryptography on a distributed ledger. Each block typically contains a cryptographic hash of the previous block, a timestamp, and transaction data. This all applies on XRP. So, of course, it is a cryptocurrency. And mind you, when they state that uh, it's not a cryptocurrency, they don't give any facts. They just state it, and that's that. And you're just, as a reader, you're supposed to just accept that and be like, yeah, XRP is not a cryptocurrency. Complete nonsense. It's absolutely cryptographically and, uh, secured, and it's, it's, uh, it's a currency. I mean, it's got actual value. So there you go. Then they uh, also go on to claim that XRP is not a blockchain, and that's silly. That's answered right here, this piece that I just read you. I um, also want to pull this up, too, because um, I had watched this video uh, by Matt Hamilton when he posted it uh, earlier this year, and uh, on Twitter he's at Hammertoe, and I tell you, he's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to technical stuff on, uh, well, blockchain, but certainly the X XRP ledger, and uh, he doesn't post as much on YouTube, but he's very active in the XRP communities on Twitter all the time, pretty much every day, so... <laughs> I uh, definitely encourage you to check them out, and I encourage you to watch this video, which explains why the XRP ledger is a blockchain, um, which he titled, Is the XRP ledger a blockchain? And then I like how he wrote here, hint, yes. <laughs> yes, it certainly is. Uh, and then another piece of FUD, which has just been debunked over and over and over again, is that Ripple has the ability to freeze your XRP set. You can't transact with it. And that's complete garbage, and so you could go to, I think it's on FUD Bingo too, actually. I'm willing to bet here. Uh, do, do, do. Let's scroll down here. Ripple. Yeah, Ripple can freeze your coins. Not true. And so you can read through why here. And, you know, I'll I tell you what. Here, here's how I figure it out, <laughs> like what the truth is about Ripple and XRP. See, you know how I figure stuff out? Well, I got me a laptop. I have me an Internet connection. And I went to Google.com, and I typed in, Can Ripple Freeze XRP? And I'll be gosh darn right here. Look at this. First result. If it wants to load. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> and here's the pertinent part that I'm highlighting right here. So XRP is counterparty free, meaning that when someone holds XRP, they are not holding liability. They are holding the actual currency XRP. Due to this fact, XRP cannot, cannot be frozen by any entity or individual. So, you know, for these people who put in out this type of drivel, 
I, there has to be an agenda there. There's, I don't know exactly what it is. Maybe they're just B, uh, Bitcoin maximalists that just despise Ripple because it's for the banks, and maybe they're the anarchist type that are anti-government and anti-bank, which I just think is childish. It's, it's just completely silly. But uh, that's, that's where they're coming from, apparently. And then they wanted to call out uh, Ripple as, how did they word it? They said something to the effect that Ripple was uh, donating to charity to avoid taxes, which, I mean, talk about a low blow. Like, Ripple's done some great stuff getting money out to charities that are, are great causes. And if there are tax benefits to that, well, so? Like, they'd be stupid not to take advantage of tax benefits. So just to frame it, that they're donating charity to avoid, avoid, they use the word avoid taxes. That's that's completely, that's a low blow, and that's just nonsense. And uh, then they go on to say that Ripple owns enough XRP to suck the market dry. Oh, this is so silly. Okay, so Ripple, yeah, they, they own a lot of uh, XRP, and they they have a subsidiary uh, called XRP2 LLC, which is a registered money services business. And they use that to, to sell XRP to, uh, to financial institutions and uh, other companies alike. And it's all done sight on scene. It's all it's all done behind the scenes. It's not traded, meaning it's not traded on uh, exchanges where you and I would buy and sell. And so as a result, when these transactions happen, the, the market's not reacting. It, it doesn't affect the, the price of our XRP. And, and further beyond that, it, you know, all the evidence is to the contrary. Like Ripple, they've been doing everything they can to foster a very healthy XRP ecosystem. And they, they earlier this year launched their what they call their Spring Initiative, which funds startups that uh, have unique business ideas that want to uh, uh, utilize XRP, uh, with Coil being uh, being a, a big one, obviously, the, the company that uh, is uh, you know, trying to find a way around, you know, say you're on YouTube, rather than uh, having to watch advertisements, you can actually stream XRP in real time based on the amount of content that you're watching. And uh, it's another way around paywalls also. So you don't have to subscribe to, like, say for the New York Times article I pulled up here where uh, it cites that uh, Charlie Shrim is a felon. Well, actually, in this particular case, I'll let you read a few free articles like this one did pop up. But beyond that, you have to be a subscriber. So it, that's another way to like, get, get around that. I think it's just, just genius. But anyway, point being is XRP, it's, it's, like, the proof's in the pudding, you know? They are they're doing everything they can to... In, you know, essentially increase the value of XRP over time. They want to foster a healthy environment. So it's just kind of nonsense to think that they unload XRP on retail exchanges, tanking the price, when really, I mean, who has a stronger incentive than Ripple to make sure that the value of of XRP rises over time? Well, well no one. So it's, it's just kind of a silly point. And then they, they go on to say, of course, this one, uh, XRP is a security. Well, no, it's not, because if it were security, then... I mean, a security of what? If it's a security, does that mean that you, you own Ripple, the company, if you hold XRP? And if so, does that mean that you also own uh, other businesses that are developing on the XRP ledger, like Coil and Omni and R3? Well, of course not. It's completely silly. It's it's completely bunk. And then another thing they point out, uh, erroneously, is that uh, there's nothing to prevent Ripple from uh, yeah, printing more XRP. Yeah. There's no proof that Ripple Labs cannot simply print more XRP. Oh, man, such garbage. And so David Schwartz, uh, one of the co-creators of the XRP ledger, he wrote this. Uh, it was towards the end of last year, and I had to hunt this thing down. I remember reading it, and it's, it's just the perfect, uh, perfect explanation. So I will read this real quick. It's pretty short. But uh, on this topic, he writes, there was never any way to create additional XRP. 100 billion XRP exists in the Genesis ledger, and there's no way to create any more. There never was. However, this was an emergent property of the system. That is, there wasn't one line of code that said, you may not create XRP. There simply wasn't any way to do it. That XRP must not be created was a system invariant. But there uh, was always some risk that some bug or defect might permit someone to violate system invariance. Since it's always better to be able to point to the line of code that says you can't do something uh, rather than rely on people not being able to find any way to do it, uh, Ripple made significant improvements in the security of the ledger. We added an invariant checker. All transactions are executed in a scratch pad. Before the results are applied to the public ledger, every server checks the scratch pad to ensure that no invariants are violated. If they are, the transaction fails, 
with a specific error code that we would, uh, would we hope, uh, prompt an investigation into what happened. That amendment has since been enabled, so now we can point to the specific line of code that makes XRP creation impossible. So there you go. You can't print more XRP ever. It's quite literally technologically impossible. Ain't going to happen. And so, you know, with, with, with all this in mind, it just goes back to what I said earlier, where I, there's got to be some sort of agenda here. And maybe it's just that they're, you know, the uh, Bitcoin maximalist type. They're all over the place in the space. Um, maybe it's because they hold a whole lot of Bitcoin. I, I don't know what it is, but, but regardless of the reason, uh, it, it's complete nonsense. And when people write this stuff, it, it just needs to be called out. Because you know, take a look at this guy, he, Charlie Shrim. I mean, he's, like it or not, he's, he's prominent in, uh, to whatever degree in, uh, in, in the crypto space. And look at this. So he got over 1,000 likes and 333 retreats, retweets uh, as, as, a, as of this moment. And I like what uh, Dr. T wrote here. Anyone sharing or liking this article is undermining their own credibility. Well, ain't that the truth, because this is complete garbage. <laughs> so um, I just, I, I'm very happy to take a moment out of my day to completely call this out and point out that it's just garbage. And uh, these people that, that say stuff, all these FUD comments, man, I just wish that they knew how to like use a search function and like, do a little bit of research and find out that this is complete garbage. It would make, uh, it'd make uh, my life a lot easier. I wouldn't have to post a video like this then. <laughs> it's... Um, other than that, I wanted to say, so this is my second video ever, and um, I posted my first video a few days ago, and it got an amazing 50 views. <laughs> so I'm tiny, and um, I got one subscriber from it. I uh, wanted to say thanks to you for watching this, John. I really appreciate you, um, your, your kind comment here and for, uh, and for actually subscribing. really do appreciate it. And then the second comment I got, there's only two here, this, this guy right here, uh, first of all, Thanks for watching, if you actually watched my video. But what you wrote here, I, I, I knew right away because I had already read this Crypto IQ piece. But it, the, the points you're making here, it, they're almost exactly the same, and, and some of them are kind of in the same order, too. So I don't think that these are exactly original thoughts you're spouting out here. But hopefully this helps clear some stuff up for you, and you can see that the points you're making in, in your uh, your post here, uh, they're, just, they're just completely inaccurate. So... Um, that being said, again, if you watch my video, I appreciate you taking some time, but what you, what you wrote here, it's just straight up wrong. So, um, anyway, I, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I think that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Oh, other than this, I'll, I'll point this out. Even Roger Ver admitted that he, he fell for the fake news that is XRP is freezable. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, th so, uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.